The Last, uh, this is my third video in a row, so hopefully you check out the first two. But the other big narrative is how right after the first week, and definitely after the second week, they're already telling you that the SEC is done. Put a fork in them. So the, the conference, allegedly, with all the great players, they win all the big games, all the playoffs, all the national championships, SEC, 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 it just means more. Suddenly, after the second week, they can already tell you that they're done. So you start looking around. Is it going to be Michigan? Is it going to be Florida State? Is it going to be Miami? Because they've cooked Clemson. <laughs> so, you know, they had their time. And uh, Or is it USC? Is it USC, Texas, or Michigan, Florida State, or Miami? Or Colorado? Can't forget about Colorado because that's that's the new uh, superhero team. I mean, that's the new squad. And Dion, we've told you how he represents the opposite version, but the same. It's the synthesis. That's their world. Their world is symbolized... In music videos and in movies, you always see it's the same with Star Wars. It's the two opposites that give a synthesis. And you play chess and checkers on it. Get it? You play chess on it. You play checkers on it. You will see that symbol in almost every music video and almost every movie. And... So that's what they're giving you with Aflac, with the Dion and Nick Saban. And of course, what's Dion doing? He's attacking the press. He's working through the press, just like Nick. I'm digressing, but get back to the back to the lecture at hand with the fake college football. It's the SEC. You can count them out. They're already massaging your brain. They're telling you how to think. So the SEC is out. So then who's it going to be? I think it's going to be Texas, but never take your eyes off Michigan. Michigan is the one that has not won the national championship. Texas did with Vince Young. USC, who's the other big team this year. USC has already, you know, they did it with Reggie Bush. But Michigan... Michigan has not won a national championship. Even though I think they still hold the record for the most victories of all of college football. The Big M. To be a Michigan man. Which that's really a mystery Babylon parallel, but I'm not going to get into that. 